Blissful it was that day. Yeah. Today the sun shone so bright that I thought I was in heaven with you. Yeah. That's where I want to take you. And I will take you. It's only that fortune has refused to smile at me. You're beginning to sound like my parents before we got married. The world will come in its own time and besides we already have all we need. Our love. Our true love. If your love is all I achieve till my dying day, then I shall die an accomplished man. <laughs> Why do you love me? Why do I sound like Shakespearean? <laughs> But it's the truth, because I mean it. Man, don't tell me they said no. I tried to stop. I tried, but the company has other ideas. Man, Edward, I need this job, man. I need this job. I need this job. I'm so broke, I don't even know how to put it to you. Come on, come on. It's not the end of the world. It's becoming the end of the world for me. For goodness sakes, man, I've been married for two years and I can't even remember when I bought my wife ice cream, not to talk of a present. Keep searching, Osa. Keep searching. I've searched every goddamn looking cranny of this country, man. What are you doing? Osa, you're shouting, you're shouting. I can't help it. Man, why, 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 why would this firm take me? Am I not qualified enough? Well, what is it? They said they needed a woman. They need a woman.
Well, sir. What is the matter with you? What is the matter with you, Nusa? The world is the matter with me. Nobody wants me. Oh, Nusa, everything will be fine. It's just two years. Two years, Christine? Did you say two years? It was four years. Four years before our marriage. Now it's two years during marriage. Nothing. Nothing to show for it. How many more years, Christine? How many more years before I can get a job and face my financial responsibilities like a man? How many, Christine? How many? How many, God damn it, how many? Everything will be fine. You see, time will tell. You know what, Christy? One of these days, I'll take you into an auto shop and buy you one of the best cars. Any woman ever stepped in this country. Just one of these days. I already have that kind of self. It's in your heart. You and my husband. Excuse me. Excuse me, lady. Excuse me. Yes. When exactly this excuse is coming here? Please. If you have any other thing to do, why don't you just go finish up with what you have to do and then come back at your own time? Because Chief comes in any time he wishes to come in. Thank you. Last night. If you are here to see me, sit. You'll be called. Chelsea, <laughs> come, come, come and give the Baron a sweet hug. Chief, who are those girls outside? For Christ's sake, what are they doing here? <laughs> Sit. Sit. The Baron does not care. Just look at me. The Baron is a rich, handsome man. Extremely rich. And if there is one place a pretty girl want to stay, it's with the rich. Chief, you have no reason whatsoever going around picking up girls. Having them come here when you know you've already helped me. For Christ's sake, what else do you want from me now? Eh? What else nothing, do you want from me? Nothing. Nothing. I should rather ask you Jesus. what you 
Now, come and give me a hug. Do you know we're jetting out to London next week? Are you kidding me or something? She would say, Life is a lie. Not the girl. Not the girl. You don't know how cute you are. What did I tell you the first day I saw you? The old man is going to change you totally. No matter the cost. Oh, Jim, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Think you're going to? Um, um, the reception, yes, the reception. Chief, what is this? Just what is this? I gave you the best part of my life, I gave you everything. Why? Why do you hurt me like this, your wife? <laughs> I also gave you everything you wanted. Miriam, you married a rich husband. And you got everything you wanted. Hmm? So I don't think it's out of place for the same your rich husband to be free to get whatever he wants. And what you want is this stupid lifestyle of flocking yourself with girls, disgracing me and your children. Don't you ever feel ashamed? Enough. Don't you ever, ever shout on the barrel. Don't you have no fear? Fear? You lost my fear the very day you lost my love and made running after girls your hobby. I tell you, you will pay. You will pay! <laughs> Miriam, I have already paid my dues in life. And if you don't like it, go and get your lawyer to prepare a divorce. This is the baron. I can afford anything. <laughs> You really want to divorce me? You want to divorce me? You betrayed me. You hurt me every single minute. You severed our marriage relationship. And now you want, you want to divorce me? Oh my God. Oh my God. What have I done? What have I done? What have I done to deserve all of this? What is wrong? What have I done? <laughs> that when I saw her. I thought she was going to strangle me. I said leave my wife out of our discussion. Let us talk about London. Um, are you really taking me to London? <laughs> Chelsea, there is nothing the Baron cannot do. I know that you need some shopping and sightseeing. And when the sun goes down, we play our favorite game. <laughs> Under the mm. bed sheet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Teaching me your old, wicked, and wild style. Chief, hmm? you're very naughty. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. 
Oh, my, my, my. It blew my mind. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. This is the barrel. You can say that again. Joe, public car. Joe, sir. Go and call that girl. Tell her that the Baron wants to speak with her. Yes, sir. Oh. Joe, come back here. Chief, what is the meaning of all this? Are you out of your mind? You're not actually trying to throw this girl in my presence, are you? Oh, my God. Chief! Chelsea, don't you ever shout on the Baron. Um. My boss, Baron Idimo, wants to see you. Trust him. This is my lucky day. And I don't think that the ship I feel can stop me. You can't. Now, move over to the front seat. This is not fair! It's not fair! I'm gonna stop. Chelsea, see me in the office. <laughs> Hello, Chief. Hi, pretty. Yeah, you sent for me? Yes, the Baron wants to see you. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful. Hi, Chief. Ooh. Such a handsome man. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Man has a price tax. Money is not everything in the world I believe in today. Money is not everything. I hope your commentary out to see me has nothing to do with your countless notes you drop in my office regarding your husband, Musa. Uncle, why are you sounding like this? Why do you hate him so much? I don't hate him. But his arrogance and pride in him, his over ambitious and dreamer attitude. Nkundusa is a man with a genuine ambition. He knows what he wants and he won't look back. What about looking down? Ever since you married him, what you do is move around the family and begging for money to feed him. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Your husband keep dreaming of a high-class office job. For how long now? Still nothing. When he can join with the family business, or even still start with his small business. Uncle, whatever Nusa does should be regarded as his own business. I don't see any reason why anybody should want to judge him. We did not consent to that marriage, and you know it. And even if we did, I wasn't there, but your late parents were. You are not supposed to be a beggar for Nusa. Uncle, I love Nusa very much, and I will do anything for him. Things may not be very rosy as regards wealth for us, but we're still keeping faith. Keeping faith? Keep all the faith you want. But I tell you one thing, a man without a job or money in his pocket is nothing but a disaster, looking for any woman's life to destroy. So sad you are a victim in Nusa's hand. Uncle, I didn't expect you to say that. My own uncle against my own husband. Look, Christy, you are so pretty you could have. Pick yourself a wealthy man you want. Uncle, money is not everything. You speak as an ignorant child. Uncle, are you going to help my husband or not? Because I know you can. I can do anything for you, anything. But for him, he has to humble himself to the ground floor before I can think of how to help him.
Say what? Bro, see, I'm not this in our old sort of thing, see? Huh? And then, 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 a, 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 a CD player, I work, bro, great electronics like this. This thing don't turn to cargo. Now, our, our, now they call it, I just carry out 10,000. My friend, this is good. This, this thing is still very strong. Bro. This thing is barely six months old. You look at it now. Look at the body. Look at how it's still shining. Bro, see, this is not a kumbo, now, our, our. So, carry your mouth, they ridicule my product like that. This is a, this is a great, uh, um, um, the machine you see here, so okay. Let me have to my market like that. Wait, 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 wait. Twenty thousand. I know one waste. I go Alaba. As you see me, this thing I say, go on an hour. You know, get the seat. Twenty thousand. Now, I the come also. I be go back. I go come. You think I'm um this man? No, twenty. Wait, wait, wait. Why give you? Um, Azoka. I carry this one, I'll put This one now, why? You don't get to see it. Okay, okay, thank you. You do well, though. Uh -huh. For let me count. Listen, I, I had no choice. I had no choice. The landlord was here again today and he came with some thugs. It was really embarrassing. Honestly, I, I had to sell her some things, man, to raise the money for part payment of the rent. Bakery? Mm -hmm. I'm really doing well. That's he good. said you can come and work this job at the bakery that there's this. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait, let me get something straight here. Are you asking me, Nosa, a master's degree holder, to go and work in a bakery of 10 naira per bread? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're asking me to do? What would I be doing there? Cutting the bread or mixing the flour? Nosa, what matters is the what I am asking you is that what would I be doing there? Huh? I went to a business school, Christine. Have you forgotten? No, sir. Just look at us. We sell virtually everything we have just to pay house rent. And, and I told you everything will be fine. I promise you I'm working something out, okay? Yes, you can start by working a lower job. So I cannot do anything lower than my class and qualification, Christine. No. Besides, I really need you to bear with me. Please, be enduring and patient as my wife. Money is not 
everything in the world I believe in today. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. In the world I believe in today. Money is not everything. Are you tired of running around with your women? Your chain of shameless prostitutes. And you have come home to force it down my throat. I'm beginning to think. Is it them that are shameless or perhaps you are the one that is shameless? A father of two children whose children cannot come home except on Christmas just because they should not witness the shameless and dirty lifestyle of their father. I do not have time to enter into any conversation with you, woman. Mary, do not provoke me. I had a busy night. <laughs> Busy night. Busy doing what? Combing the school campuses and the nooks and crannies of this town, looking for new girls to satisfy your animal and dog like desires. You're even worse than a dog. Marian, if you insult me again, I will make sure. You will make sure that what happens? Now tell me, you will make sure that what happens to me? Divorce me? Do you think that panics me anymore? Eh? Mr. Crazy Bologna? <clears throat> no, you are not walking out of me until you tell me the reason why you are being so stupid. Tell me! Yes! 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 My house in London is empty. Do yourself a favor, my dear. Relocate there and or fool yourself around here. But then, <laughs> the Baron lives his life the way he wants it. What have I done to you? What have I done to you? Don't treat me like this. Hello. Oh, Amanda. <laughs> you remembered me today. <laughs> yes, naughty girl. <laughs> of course, my suit is Sheraton. Yes, I, I feel a bit uh, disturbed this night. And you are doing well. Oh, God. Yes. What have I done? Oh, yes, definitely. Thank you. I don't know how to thank you for all this. Thank you so much. Amanda, Amanda. What is happiness? Happiness is that girl that every other girl is jealous of. Now you know the caliber of man that you are dealing with. I know. <laughs> when I told you I was going to give you whatever, you doubted me. Didn't you? Mama, since so, so, so you see the family opened that boutique, why don't you go inside and see what they have? And then what? We're not buying anything. Exactly. We'll just look and then be off. What is not what they have this for? Okay. Oh my god. You can buy as much as you can. I'm feel free. Yes, make a choice. Yeah, look around. We have good stocks in here. 
The third goal is a girl's best friend. Oh, yes. That's not true. Those who can afford it for the girls are the girl's best friends. Whatever. It is really beautiful. Oh, yes. One of the finest from Switzerland. It makes a girl look so graceful like mermaid walking on sky. <laughs> it really looks expensive, but... I can't afford it for now. <laughs> but then it could have gone to some other lucky girls. Huh? So what do you suggest? Do I steal it or go rob a bank? <laughs> Which one is best? <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. So, uh, what is your name? Uh, well, um, wait a minute. I don't know you. Yes, you don't. And, uh, and you will. And believe me, when you know my name, the whole world will come to your feet. Oh, my dear lady, you are such a pretty girl that I cannot remove my eyes all the way from that place. You are prettier than this jewel. <laughs> Thank you very much for those remarks. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, anyway, I would like to know what's the name. My name is Mrs. Christine Nusa Williams. Yes, I can see that, my dear. I can see that. Uh, but then it doesn't really remove anything from you at all. It doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, why didn't you come and know me? See, my dear, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, that I cannot give you. I am Baron. Baron Itimu. Well. Baron Idimo, does the word marriage mean anything to you? <laughs> My dear, this world is full of fun and not so much time to enjoy even 10% of it. Well, um, Baron, it was really nice meeting you. Have a nice day. Bye. Well, now let's go, please. Now, wow. Uh, Yes, I will definitely have a nice day. There's always a price tag. <laughs> Joe! Okay. Joe! Sir! Joe! Follow that girl and know where she's living. Sir. <laughs>
Uh, Christy. Yeah? Could you please borrow me 500 Naira? Um, I'm sorry, I'm down on broke. Ah, oh, Christy, what about your monthly allowance? I thought it's due this week. Another postponement till next month. Christy. Uh, listen, I hope th this is not about Francis's bakery. I swear to God, I'll pay you back. No, sir, how could you say that? If I had some money, I would have given you. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I just have to rush down somewhere. Alright, alright, just wait. let me rush down to our last place and see if I can get some money from her. No, no, why? For what? You don't have to go about running around trying to make money for me. I had to borrow the one I used to make the food. There's really no money in the house. You don't have to run around begging money for me, alright? Everything will be fine. Let me get this to the door. Okay. Yeah? Who is it? Do you have the money? Let's take the suit first. The suit? Okay, wait, wait. Just wait outside. I don't want my wife to know. Hold on, I'll be right back. It's gonna be alright, not to worry. Get some more money, go make some more food. There you go. We agreed, no, sir. We agreed no more selling of our things. What are you talking about? I just saw you. I just saw you hand over the remaining suits you have to, to that man. Why? Christy, there's no way we can go on without money. Besides, I can get some more suits. When things get better, I can get very good suits too. I've got plans, Christy. Good plans. So you know I'm in support of whatever plan you have. As long as it makes you happy. Right, but you should have taken the job at the bakery. At least things would have been much better by now. Christy, please. You forget about Francis's bakery from now on. Please. Let me get the door. Who is it? Good day, sir. Yeah, good day. I have this uh, package for Christy. For Christy? Uh, yes, sir. Well, um, I'm a husband. Can I take it? Okay. Yeah, you're free to take it, sir. Christy, you have a package. From who? Sorry, from our office, sir. Thank you, sir. I don't know. Why don't you check it out? Well, go ahead, open it. And it's so beautiful. God, who who sent this to you? A man. A man? What man? A man. A, a man I met at the boutique today. He saw me admiring it. You went to a to a boutique. 
to admire this um, beautiful jewelry. And then this man bought this jewelry and sent it to you. And you do not remember giving him your address? My address? Yes. How come he found out I live here? Well, I must say, it's really beautiful. I really wish I could afford it for you. No, sir, no, sir. Please, I can explain. Wait. No, sir. <coughs> Hello, can I help you? Um, yes, good evening. Um, a jewelry was bought off a shelf, I believe two days ago. Mm, yes, I remember. Um, I came to see if... Hello, good day. Hello. Good day, madam. Does it have any problem? No, actually, somebody bought it for me, so I came to find out if there's a way you can help me, you know. Pardon me, I didn't understand you. Actually, I know who bought it for me. His name is Chief Baron Idimo. You know, it's just that I don't know how to say him. So I came here to ask if you help me check your receipts to get his address for me. So he did. Perhaps you should check where you met him. I did meet him here, madam. And um, by the way, who are you to him? Um, I only came here to ask for your help, madam. And not to be interrogated. <laughs> well, if you so careless minded and daft not to know the whereabout of a man that can afford such an expensive gift for you. You really have an attitude problem. Do you know that? What a shame. Oh my Baron. How dare you? Yes, do I have to wait outside there to be introduced to you first? Amanda, this is not my hotel, but my office. And only the receptionist can usher you in. <laughs> you should have thought of these protocols before buying jewelry for my boutique for a girl that doesn't even know you. I said go out there until the receptionist introduces you. Call the bullshit, chief. Get out. I should get out. Out. <laughs> Do whatever pleases you. But listen to this. Do not allow those girls be fool around me. Come nosing around my boutique looking for you. Good day. Yeah, please leave. Thank you. Please, please. I'm very sorry. There is always a price tag. Yes, who are you? My boss, Baron Idimu, sent me. He said he can use the car for the whole day and I can drive you to wherever. If you wish to see him, I can also take you to him. <laughs> and who is this Baron Idimu? Well, tell him I'm not interested. He said he hoped you appreciate the gift he sent you. The gift? Yeah. The gift? It was your boss? Of course. Where is he? Maybe at the office. If you wish to see him, I can also take you to him. Okay. This way. was the meaning of that rubbish? What are you talking about? Sending me a gift right in my home? Tracing me when I already told you I'm a married woman? 
<laughs> I never foresee your husband as a problem. Hmm. Stay away from me. That can never be possible. And I won't stop. Not with a pretty woman like you. My husband is not taking this lightly. Neither am I. What are you trying to do? Break my marriage and my family? Christy, I'm only showing you your words. And I will stop at nothing. This is the barrel. I can give you anything. I don't need anything from you, whatever your name is. Ooh, <laughs> it's natural. You're not supposed to. Now, take a look around you. What do you see? What I see? I see an irresponsible man gone mad with his money and thinks that every woman's soul can be bought. That is what I think. <laughs> Christy, I never wanted any woman's soul. But the mere pleasure of enjoying her beauty, her pretty body, and telling myself, oh, this good thing of life has graced me, no matter the cost. And I assure you, if you as much as come near me or trace me again, I will get you arrested. <laughs> I will get you arrested. Christy. Think not of what you will get for me, mm. but what you will get for yourself from me. Well, that is your gift, chief or baron, whatever you call yourself. I'm out of here. I need. You need what? Star. Star. Yes. Don't have star. Hold up. Big two. Continue. I'm gonna get who's at the door. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. doing here? Yeah. Well, you two know each other? You must be the husband. So you are the lucky man that owns this Cinderella. This is the man I told you met me at the boutique and bought me that gift. How dare you walk in here? Sending her beautiful and secret gifts. It's amazing. And you have the effrontery to walk into my home, sit down uninvited, light your cigar, laugh at my face, and tell me I'm a lucky man. <laughs> really amazing. I do hope you know what you've stepped into. Young man, I am a captain of companies. An airline, a shipping company, an oil exploration and marketing firm. See, my young man, when a man of my caliber walks into your house, Then you must know that this is not a game of lust, fooling around, or extremely absent mindedness. Is that so? so what I try to say here that you came here to see me and not my wife? Sweetheart, I need this man to leave this house this minute. Patience, my darling, patience. 
Let's hear what he has to say. Let's see if he's a, a fool or a fool. Consider me a leader. See me. I am way out of that league. Where reasons are judged only by what is seen and assured than what is actually intended or motivated. I do not understand. You wouldn't. You're still a young man, very strong, with all the time to experiment. Fell and starts all over again without any hindrance. Ah, uh, consider me a big family friend. And that is exactly what I want to be. Except that your wife felt that a family friend without your consent is uh, like committing sin. A family friend. A family friend that lusts after my wife and sends her expensive gifts. A family friend. Oh no, my dear. I wouldn't put it that way if I were you. So how would you put it? Rather, I would say a family friend that was attracted by your beautiful wife just to change your life and uh, your fortune. How do you mean, please? It's all right. Oh, my God. You seem to be forgetting something. Oh no, it's for you and your wife. Remember, I am just a family friend. Strange days. <laughs> hey, he brought your jewelry. He actually wanted you to have it. Look at that. Wow. And 50,000 Naira. We are returning it. Returning it? Why? Because you don't know him. Oh, come on, sweetheart. The man is trying to be a family friend. Besides, but you know what? Let's just leave him. He'll get tired and then he'll realize how childish he was. You know we don't need such friends. But honey, you know we need the money. Come on now. Okay, you know what? Let's just say this is the price he has to pay no. for disturbing our privacy. No, no, no. I huh? don't, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Hey, honey. The man has got to eat. Oh, my dear young man. You are welcome, Mr. Mr. Williams, Williams no sir. I see, I see. Perhaps you don't know what honor it is to have you right here. So what can I offer you? Nothing sir, I'm fine, thank you. No, you must have something. No, I'm fine sir, I'm fine, thank you sir. I'm okay. <laughs> Mr. Williams, every day of my life is a celebration. Uh, what about a champion? I was under the impression that this is supposed to be an official meeting. <laughs> My young man, you seem to be in a hurry to conclude the meeting. So what do you do? Well, sir, I... I have two degrees. One is a master's and... Uh, my kind of job is yet to pop up, so I'm still searching. And I'm very sure your quest will be met with success. Especially having a pretty woman like Christy. Your profound interest in my wife is really beginning to make me jealous. Costa, and perhaps respectful of my presence. You must really love her. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I love her. Absolutely. 
And she's the most beautiful thing in my world that money cannot buy. <laughs> Mr. Williams. And I have the money. I want to buy. What did you just say? I'm making an offer. Now, let's face it as me. I know what I'm about to say will annoy you. But like a man with a business motive, the annoyance will soon go down. See, Mr. Williams, I have an expensive hobby. That is, I find it difficult to look the other way whenever I see a beautiful woman. A woman as pretty as a wife. You know what? I guess we should just call it a day. You're boring me. 500,000 naira. I beg your pardon? Just for a night. Never, never ever in your life you show your face to me again. Have you ever heard of the lifestyle of the rich and the shameless? Some to die with the name and uh, some die nameless just for the same gain and pain. Walk out of that door. You walk out of one million naira. I mean, crazy. Just a night. Go kill yourself. going out this morning? No, 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 no. But I'm checking the job market and the papers though. See what it has for me. Okay. Um, we have a function at the governor's office today, so I left Yam and Stu for you in the kitchen. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. I'm off. Bye. Oh, come on. Just like that. Not even a kiss. Well... Well, well. <laughs> oh, come on, stay the day with me. Oh, please keep dreaming. I have to. Alright? It's not fair. Bye. Bye. Um, did you later meet Baron Ijima? Um. No, 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 I... I decided to forget about it. Good. See ya. Bye. just get her off my mind. But you have had many just as her. Oh no, come off it, Joe. You speak from a blind mind's point of view. I've not tested anything like her. And strange enough, it's not out of hunger or mere loss anymore. I see myself uh, emotionally getting attached to her every day. Is that why we have to drive up here every morning? So you can just look at her. Joe, you are still young in emotions. See, Joe, I wake up every morning dreaming, thinking, and fantasizing about her. Her smooth skin, 
her soft nature, her graceful eyes and lips that brings out the real man in me. <laughs> but she's married, boss. Oh, no, that makes it more interesting. And perhaps that is what has held me all this while. Mm. Well, her husband is still young and temperamental too. He's a nobody. He is a nobody. If you say so, boss. Such pretty thing that is meant for the rich and prudent like us should not be left for a dog like him. Should I follow, boss? No, don't do that. Just go and tender my offer. Yes, yes, who is that? It's so good to see you. Look at you. Wait for boss people to Take those day house now. M class day house. You're lying. <laughs> oh boy, ah, no, 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 this thing is not good now. Nah. I go do you like this now. Nah. <laughs> Let me just talk to you again three cars now. Now nah, nah, just forget me, abandon me like I that. Don't forget you. Not be like that, bro. Ever since I married Christy, that my school babe. All of that just abandon us. No, you not good to I am crazy in Abuja, you know. Uh, didn't Charlie tell you anything about the estate and property development business in Abuja, Wari, Porakot, and Enugu? He did, he did. He told me, and I've been what? running around. Running around for what? Running around for what? Listen, the business is so lucrative. All you need to do is raise three million. Three million! We will push you into firms and ministries. That's when as banks that need X-State to be developed and be sold. Brother, man, I, I'm, so, I'm just a job applicant. Now, who would I raise that kind of money? No friend is willing to help me. Financially, there's a limit a friend can help you. Personally, I would have loved to help. But right now, my physical cash is tied down on top. It's the same thing Charlie told you me. Understand. That's the same thing Charles told me. But brother, it's not easy. Though. No, sir. No, sir. No one for now except your father can give you such an amount freely. You need to try hard within yourself. I mean, you once had a job and you lost it. They should understand. Man, forget about my family, man. Get this is my college. He is not everything in the world that we live in today. Money is not everything. Money is not Everything. Money is not everything in the world. Give me! Give me my back! Don't break it! Don't break anything! Don't break anything! Put it down! 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 Don't break anything in the house, oh! Rubbish. Are you are you asking me, Mr. Williams? Or should I be the one to ask you? But no, no, I made some payments to your agent. Hey. Yes. How, how much did you pay him, man? For how many years? Whatever it is, I made some payment, landlord. What's this? Uh, that is why I'm moving you to the boys' quarters. Oh, I see you, cousin. Hey. Look, I am a very considerate man. 
Your tenancy agreement with me gives me the right to eject you anytime, any day. Look, you are owing me three good years. And just managed to pay for six months after selling all your property. Oh, oh, landlord, landlord, no. At least you, you, you know my situation. You, 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 you know my predicament. Why are you doing this to me? I'm still going to pay you now. This is not fair. You don't have to do this. I'm fair. I'm being very fair enough. You see, I am an old pensioner and depend on the proceeds from this house for my medical bills, maintenance, and family expenses. Therefore, I am renting the main building to a new tenant. You and your baby wife can stay in the one room boys' quarters until your situation improves. Then you can go and look for a house elsewhere. Now, Lord, please now. Eh, please, at least we can, we can do something now, please. Quick, 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 quick. bring all these things out. Bothered, no sir. What do you expect me to do? You have to be strong for both of us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Look at our situation, for God's sakes. Look at our situation. Is this progress in life? Sir, we still have each other. This is not the life I planned for you, Christy. This is not my dream. I don't care. I don't care. You're all that matters to me, Nusa. We'll share our properties, run our friends, and so we can clear up this place. Your people, your, your, your family, they'll, they'll laugh at us, man. <laughs> they'll mock us. God, I have failed. God, I've failed, Christine. I've failed. You know, you, haven't failed. Huh? you know what? First thing tomorrow, you know what I'll do? I'll go to Francis, your cousin. I'll start up that job at the bakery. I'll do it for you. Because you deserve better than this. Well done, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. I was trying to inspect my machine. Uh... No doubt you're a very hard working man, sir, considering how you started. Huh? Every man has to work very hard in life. So what can I do for you? Oh, I, I came in respect of the job um, you told my wife about. Uh, tell your wife, please, to give it to you. I don't understand, sir. I told your wife two months ago about it. And you were like, I know, sir. Big loss to work in Francis Dirty Small Bakery instead of executive job in the bank or your company. It's not like that, sir. It's, it's not like that at all. How is it like? Because things are now becoming difficult. You've now remembered me, my Francis Little Bakery. Perhaps if you had gotten a job in the oil company or in the bank, would you have remembered me? Would you have remembered my bakery? Uh, sorry, sir. Do not be offended. You see, it's just a, a communication gap. Huh? It, it, I, I didn't say it like that. I, I didn't well, say it like however that. However you put it, you can come back next year. Somebody more serious has taken the job and he's such a dedicated staff. I can't fire him. Sir, 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 please. I beg you. I promised Christy and Christy is your family. Please, do something for us. Yes, the best I can do is to 
give you two loaves of bread for breakfast tomorrow or oh, yeah, about. He has no job, I'm sorry. Uh, Oga okay, Francis. Oga okay, Francis. Open, open. Christy, open the door. I'm, I'm sorry, Christy's not here. Oh. Oh, God. I'm sorry, man. I'm really sorry. I. I had so much on my mind, I absolutely forgot that uh, we had moved to the boys' quarters. Please forgive me, I'm really sorry, yeah? That's okay. It happens sometimes. Yeah. Um, someone brought a letter addressed to Nusa Williams. Are you the person? Oh, yes, please. I am. Yeah. Excuse me. be um, a job application, I mean, a job interview or offer, because I've sent over a thousand um, applications. It might be from a company. Yeah, yeah, most, most. Thank you. All right. sleeping again. What is it? I hope it's not about my cousin Francis. What would make you leave me, Christy? Leave you? What are you talking about? Sweetheart, I've told you to get this sad situation off your mind. I'm going through an inward emotional conflict here, Christy, and it's only you that can save me. Save you? What is the problem? Do you love me? Yes. How much? If a man walks up to me and points a gun at my head and says he will shoot me dead right now if you do not sleep with him, Christy, would you do it to save me? Supposing the man gives you three million naira just to have one night with you, what are you doing with him? What are you talking about? Christy, will you do it for me? Barrel. You did see the barrel, no, sir? Yes, I did. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, sir, you lied to me. You told me you did not see the Baron. Kristen, please, try and understand. What Get your hands off me! You scare me. What has come over you? 
You want me to sleep with a man because of money? You, my husband, my love, my soulmate. Christy. Like, huh? Christy. Christy. Exact money I need to start off my life. I can't. I am not a prostitute. I hate you, Nosa. Why are you doing this to me? Why? What happened to our love? The values we cherished? Nosa, money is not everything. Are you look right? at us. Just look at us. Look at this rat hole we're living in. I'm a laughing stock amongst my friends. Why? <laughs> No one, Christy, no one will give me that money. Our life is not heading anywhere. Christy, you can get that money in just one night. Please, I beg you, Christy, please, just do it. With this. my body. With my body, my husband, you're telling me to do it with my body. Your temple is seen that will remain with me for the rest of my life. Christy, the only reason why we do not have children is because... We can't afford to take care of them. You know that. Christy, this is an opportunity. An opportunity of a lifetime. An opportunity for me to be like my mates. Christy, please. Listen. No. Three million now. No. Get us out of this mess, Christy. No, Think I about can't. it. Help me now, Christy. I can't leave me Christy. No, I can't. Christy, for the sake of our children, our future. I talked to Nusa. I, Chief Dominic Okonta, to go and talk to that little boy. You must be out of your mind. Uncle, please don't be too hard on me. We're really passing through a hard time, and all I need, all you need don't is... get it, do you? What about what you need? Ever since that devil entered into your life, it has always been what he need. What about you? Uncle Nosa is my husband. I made a choice. You made a choice? And now you need my help. Huh? What happened to your self-prophesied love? Huh? Look at you, Christy. Just look at you. Because of Nusa, you spent almost six years on a four-year course. That boy is a dreamer. Wrecking your life, and you know it. Please, I'm begging you. You're the only family I have left. All I need You is don't know family. what you need, Christy. Huh? I am advising you to reconsider now there is time. There are men out there that will grab you within 24 hours if you're ready for a new marriage. I don't need another marriage. Uncle. Well, Stay with what you got yourself into. I am sorry I am not going to talk to Nusa. Yes.
are you coming from? From my uncle's place. What did you go to your uncle's place to do? I went to my uncle's place and he gave me this 50,000 naira. He gave you 50,000 naira? Did I ask you to go and beg him for money? Did I ask you to go beg him for money? I didn't beg him for money. He just gave it to me. He just gave you. He just gave you fifty thousand naira. I didn't beg huh? him for any money. You didn't beg him for money. How am I even sure this is not from another man? No. Huh? I swear to you, no, sir. I didn't beg him. He just gave me the money. He gave me what? Ah! He gave me what? Huh? Come, come, come back here, my friend. Come, come here. Come here. Ah! How many times? How many times have I told you not to go beg him for money? I didn't How many beg times? Him you never be seen. Never. How many times have I warned you? How many times? 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 It's okay. Where are you going? It's weekend tomorrow, isn't it? Let's go get your three million naira. You have... You have decided to do it for me? Are you ready or not? Oh, Christy, God! I'm so Get your hands off me. Christy, this is the for... The earlier the better. This is for us, Christy. For our future. Our home. We all have to make sacrifices in our lives sometimes, you know? It's unfortunate that fate has fussed us into this. But I'm sure time will heal the wound. I'm proud of you, okay? Let's go get your three million naira no you know so little of faith and sacrifice. Christy. You know I love you, don't you? Um, let me go clean up. Mr. Williams, you're a wise man. Um, I have no doubt that um, you fully understand our transaction. Should your wife withdraw, you will not only refund me, but with a hundred percent interest. And should anything by any means harm her, I will kill you myself. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Nothing of sort will happen. I guarantee you. In fact, um, this moment uh, should be a life-changing happiness for us all. The money and cut the crap. That is $25,000. No doubt it's more than $3 million. Just take it as a bonus. I 
I will return her to you tomorrow evening. More radiating than what I found her. My soul and spirit is with you. This is just my body. It dies and decay. Not look at my greed and loss, but at the happiness that you, gentle, pretty creation of heaven, will give to me, upon which I have paid all this high price. Oh, it's an honor! It's an honor, yeah. You will not find my conversation or talking to you interesting, Baron. I really hate you. I never believed in love. I do not believe in what I don't see. So where do we go? Any place in this country. Strong for both of us. Why? Why? What happened to our love? The values we cherish. No, some money is not everything. Eh?
tell him I want to see him. I'm, I'm sorry, he, he just left with the lady who came here earlier on. What? Yes. Then tell me where they are. Tell me where they are. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Tell me. Okay, give me his cellular number. Give me his mobile number. Stop it! I don't know. And I don't have mo Chief's mobile number. He only gives it to his close associates. memory until I'm dying. The whole public is going to be on my feet as you. Christy, what is wrong? Why are you crying? I weep for a love so betrayed. A love that could not stand the test of time. Love that could not stand the test of time, patience, and sacrifice. Christy, love is merely an imagination of how sad and happy every little child would like his romantic life to be, generally in books and movies. In reality, it doesn't exist. It does exist. Your lust for my flesh has torn my life apart. The love between my husband and I is lost. Oh, Christy, nothing is lost. You still have your husband. He's now three million naira richer. Three million naira. With a soul, without a conscience and the love I have for him. Christy, a choice was made to the benefit of everybody. A choice that destroyed my whole life, everything I sacrificed for. Whatever I do, do for love. Money is not everything. Christy, money is everything. Money is the pillar of every man. Man he is. Yes. Yes, he is. That is why he brought my soul here to be murdered, abused, just because of three million naira. Three million naira. Cursed. The day I set my eyes on you. Tell my husband that 
I love him very much. No! No! I do not need such money. Money is not everything. I've sinned against her soul. And I hope she forgives me. Even in death. Mr. Williams? Money is not everything. In the world I believe in today. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. Money is not everything in the world that we live in today. Money is not everything. Listen when I see that money is not everything. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. Money is not everything in the world. This is my lawyer, Barrister Akuma. It is, sir. I invited him to prepare our divorce papers. I shall inform the children of their new status when I get to London. So, Miriam, you will do no such thing. I am now a changed man. I have learned a new thing. And I've seen it. That new thing is love. I should have noticed it in you. You had it all this while. But I was blinded by the wicked world. Miriam, I love you. Madam, please, listen to your husband. I believe him. I think you should believe him too. Please give me the chance to acknowledge and reciprocate. Please, give me the chance. Please. Please. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 
Thank God. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay, Chief. Sorry, I think I have to leave now. See the family. I must say that the lessons I've learned from both of you, no amount of money can buy it. As I stand before you now, I know in your minds, you must be saying that this devil incarnate has come again. No. Both of you are God sent. My life is changed. My family is saved. And I've finally found love in my wife. I have a token gift for you. And please, don't refuse it. I know I could have given this to her in the first instance without being stupid. Please, take it. Ten million naira. Ten million naira? What for? Another proposal? Yes. A better proposal if I may use that language. You are going to start a new life. But this time in Port Harcourt. How do you mean? You and your wife are going to head my oil exploration and marketing firm with the Dutch company in Port Harcourt as the new executives. Please, don't say no. I must say, I am very pleased with you. Not because you have changed my life or because you have given me this wonderful opportunity. But because I tried to kill my wife. My love. My heart. And you saved her. For me. I thank you very much. According to the doctor, if not for the fact that she partially blocked the knife strike, by now, I probably will be standing before her grave, wondering to myself what I have done. I want to thank you. I thank you very much. Destiny, my son. Call it fit. Sometimes things have a reason for happening the way they do. Especially when there is love and sacrifice. 
Your wife, Christy, taught me that. Have a nice life in Port Harcourt. Call me as soon as you get there. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. 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 